Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your truth. And Lord, we give you the praise. Help us to walk by faith and not by sight. And Lord, let us put our trust and hope in you. And Lord, we believe you. And we receive you and your counsel. Let us know your word is true. And every person that speak contrary to your word is a liar. Let us believe you, Lord, and put our hope and trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I just want to remind you that I've written three books. And the first book is Loneliness, God's Gift to the Single. The second book is Why Are People Afraid of Love? But I want to draw your attention to the signature book, Love School, A Divine Education in Love. You can find these books on my website, ReverendTonyKThomasBooks.com or Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere you shop for books. Love School. I want you to know that I thought chapter 6 was this, the key mark, God's love story, but one of the ch chapter 4 is how the father looks for a soulmate. In chapter 5, for his children. You see, so many of us are searching we know the promise of God, but we just can't wait for the promise of God. And most of us don't understand that God d delights to give you his best, or just to. And one of the things I've learned as a young man, after I gave my life to Christ, if you want his best, you got to prepare yourself to be his best. Are you listening to me today? I want you to know something today that some of you are married and you want better. If you want better, then prepare yourself to be better. Amen? And you shall receive better. Or listen to me today. I want to tell you that we don't take time to go into God's Word. We're too busy dating without a purpose. Amen? making plans for entertainment or just to without learning how to get to know. But God doesn't make mistakes, people. I want you to know that God wants to join Amen. when you're prepared and when you've been formed and fashioned. Or just to me today. Amen. These are not just words that you, you say in a ceremony. These are things that you need to begin to practice. These books is a divine education in love that come from God. Or you listen to me. And I just pray that these books get in the hands of people. Because I believe when God has joined, that nothing can put it apart. But also I know that singleness is the place where God wants to work. Because a strong, united relationship that leads to a partnership by God will build a house that will not be divided Amen. and cannot be shaken. Satan is at war, y'all, against the family. Most of all problems that we see in our society come from home. Are you to me today? Or the lack of a home. So I want you to understand that these books, I want you to pray that God will get them, put them in the hands of people. And they not just become collected items, but something they read, heed, and do. Love School, A Divine Education of Love, Reverend Tony Gay Thomas, books.com. God, give God some praise. Amen. I want you to turn to Genesis and we're going to continue with new heights in life in 2022, part seven. I want you to know something that the Lord has instructed me.
that many people claim to be born again but they didn't start their journey with God I want you to see something that that even some of you today you still don't quite get it because if you really believe that God raised Jesus from the dead in a world like today there will be nothing that you can't that you can't believe God for Amen. why did it take us so long to believe God I want you to see here that God had a plan even before Jacob and Esau was even born. Did you know that God's got a plan for you too? Yeah. I want you to understand that this story of Jacob is just as much a story of Esau. Yeah. I want you to know that we know the story that Esau was famished and he made a quick decision now I talked about some of that this morning but you didn't understand it he was given a promise here is my promise land how many times have you pawned your promise I know what the mirror said, but I'm going to do it this way because I'm famished. I'm not going to know how I'm going to make it tomorrow because I'm perishing. And opportunity comes up. You see, each one of us have had an Esau experience. Amen. And men. I'm, 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 I told you it's called an appetite you see an appetite see most of the people think that an appetite and it is true is sexual impurities and we all can avoid that appetite but it's other appetites and gratifications that pulls us and sucks us in fear worry Y'all ready for this? Unforgiveness. Yeah. Bitterness. Anger. Uncontrollable temples. Amen. Outbursts. Are you ready for this? Lying. I'm talking about fabricating stuff that you know how you build a building and you call it a house. Yeah. But it's fabricated out of stuff that wind can blow down. Amen. Yes. Are oh, you listening to me? Amen. We can form stuff in our lives that isn't real. Mm -hmm. Some of you have misused your good name in the name of Jesus for your appetite All right. you're going to believe God that you can get it when your credit says you don't need it Amen. you need to fix it but you ain't got time to repair things you got to put and you think God going to make it appetize You better wake up. If you 
don't even got time to fix it now. What, what, what appetites have you traded for the promise? Oh no, this don't go big in church today. You want to make things new? You got to start your journey just like everybody else who walked by faith. Amen. Trust in God. Amen. Some of you, you get a report and immediately you trade in the promise. You got to keep running and checking it. We see here that Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said, now I, I told you, I, this is so important, that's why those books are so important, I didn't understand it, I've been meditating on this since the last time we, I spoke I want you to understand, every time when I come to this pulpit I got three hours of messages inside of me y'all can't handle it some of you ready to go home now Even in a pandemic where we ain't got nowhere to go, nothing to do, we're too busy for God. You should not take a wife from the daughters of Canaan. Now you got to get these numbers together. I showed you that Isaac was 60 when his sons were born. He was 40 when he got married. Very key thing. That means 20 years, Isaac, y'all ready for this? Makanda, mama, ma, ma, you better look up at me. 20 years, Isaac waited for the promise. Did y'all know that some of y'all, in your affliction, you couldn't wait 20 minutes? You said, where do I sign? I'm never going to get better. And you get your wife and your husband or your husband and your wife. Y'all both in agreement now. Out of the mouth of two or three. Anybody in church today? Amen. See, I got a secret I have never shared with you, with anyone. I didn't put it in the books. I will one day. But Isaac was in the same situation as Abraham. For 20 years, Abraham went 25 without the promise from God. He went 14 making something happen. See, we're quick to run our appetite ago and we're still I promise for a quick fist. And then all of a sudden that quick fist ain't working and, and we're struggling and we got backbiting grieving and just like the children of Israel. Amen. But I thought that was your fist. I've been divorced, waiting for the promise. This is year 20. Soon be year 20. I want you to understand something. Sometimes you gotta wait on the Lord. Amen. God's word will be performed. I want to tell you, put yourself in a situation. How can you pray for healing when you ask not to be well? Did you know that Esau, after 
trigger in the first place. Went back to get it. Oh, now this day of grace, and we don't we don't have that. Don't preach that kind of mess. Oh no. Why, why so many people are struggling? Saying they're happy when they're not. Happiness will get you up and shouting. Amen. Make a joy of noise. Amen. All the earth. Yeah. Not slamming doors. Mm. Not running folks off the road. Not blowing a horn like you ain't never. Won't you blow the horn in church? Amen. Let us hear your noise. Yeah. 20 years. Isaac had to believe God. Don't tell me. Y'all think that God won't going to show up 20 years later. You eliminate the opportunity for the promise. Oh, or Y'all ain't ready for this. Ain't, you're not ready for this kind of church today. New heights in life. You got to turn it around. Amen. Oh. You've been too busy talking about other folks. Juicy news here, juicy news here. You know everybody juicy news. And you ain't 20 years of lapse and you ain't trusted God. You want to see something? He says, Arise, go to Potterama. And we look at verse 6. And he saw Saul that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to take himself a wife. I want you to know sometimes your new star or the new heights you got to reach for. Look at verse 41 in chapter 27. Genesis 27, 41. Look at verse 38, actually. But look at verse 38. See, most of you are going to come back to God. And you're going to want it fits it quick. Can you wait 20 years for it get for for the balance to happen? You'll walk away think you got it when you didn't get it. You'll accept more mess and call it bless. I don't know, y'all. But with human reasoning, man, it's not faith. You see, when you walk by faith, I learned this this week, and I, I went on a, I, thought, I really didn't want to go. I was having fun at home. But I knew why I left. God met me there. I learned that walk by faith, you won't have many people to walk with. Amen. Everyone I read about that walk by faith had very few friends. Amen. In this world, they call you depressed. Amen. They call you dangerous to be alone. Daniel was alone. Amen. Daniel had few friends. But he had some friends he could trust. Amen. Moses was alone. Who do you think Abraham was in a land as an alien and a sojourner? Nobody he could trust. But you want all the friends and you got all the family connections and connect this and you 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 mean to tell me all you do with your time is pop in on Facebook? Keeping up with everybody else's business and then come on. I let you read, listen to the word day. That's what I do. 
I want them to find out how they believe God in difficult times. Look what he said. I want you to see. He ran up to Isaac and said, well, you got something for me? You got any leftovers? A wife, he says, away from the fertility of the earth shall be your dwelling. That sounds just like what Adam got when he failed. Is that right? Amen. Look what he said. And uh, away from the dew of heaven from above. He said, we said that let thy will be done on heaven as it, on earth as it is in heaven. Look what he said. And by and away and by your sword you shall live and your your brothers you shall serve but it shall come about that when you become restless that you will shall break his yoke from your neck now look what happened in verse 41 because see most of us when we come back for the promise that our appetite took and traded we don't come back with the right heart. We come back for the promise, but with the same old heart. And that's why, y'all ready for this? You do it again and again and again. The same thing instead of walking by faith. Verse 41 will tell you what was in his heart. When he cried out, he hated his brother. He bore a grudge. against Jacob because and look what he said the days of the morning for my father are near I'm going to kill that boy did you know that it says that Jacob was a civil, civil civilized man it says that Jacob was a man of calm and peace and humble. Esau was a man of wild like a beast. Without any kind of restraint. How, does that remind of some people's uh, listen, I don't know your 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 you. But when stuff happens, you lose your strength. You just fall apart. You turn different colors. You scream at people. You yell. You get upset. You slam the door. You cut them off and roll your eyes. Wild beast. But Jacob, Esau, lived in the wilderness from the field, Jacob dwelled in tents. Y'all ain't ready for this. If you're going to walk with God, you got to be ready to break camp Amen. anytime. Some of y'all got to break camp from some of your pity, from your self-made inflictions that you put upon yourself. Anybody with me today? Turn to Hebrews. Chapter 11. Turn to Genesis 25 and verse number 7. He 
this is amazing people this is why you slow down get off Facebook get off Twitter you can't say you just in the word you're in everybody's word I watch some people and they got their favorite preacher up on well, it don't matter Pastor Thomas been in this thing 40 years walking with in living in tent look at verse 27 and when the boys grew up Esau became a skillful hunter a man of the field but Jacob was a what a peaceable man I want you to see that word it says civilian civilized but I like this this is hidden and look in your margin, it said he was a complete man. You know what a complete man is? Spirit, soul, and body in alignment with God. I want you to see that Jacob was a complete man living in tents. See, some of y'all look at that and you say, oh, he's got problems. He ain't all man. He can stand in the house under his mother's skirt. Y'all ain't with me yet. Until you read Genesis. Let's say Hebrews 11 and verse 19. Turn to Hebrews 11. Keep your finger in Genesis. Because see, if you're going to reach for new heights in life, you got to be ready to break camp. you got to break up from stuff that's not working. Anybody ready to pick up a t and take a move from where you are? Move from your troubles that you created. Yeah. Amen? Don't tell me my God can't do it. Amen. Look at Hebrews chapter 11. Real quick. Somebody read verse 19 real loud. He considered that God is able to raise men even from the dead. From which he also received them back. Hold on, that's the wrong one. Hebrews... Verse chapter 11, verse 9. Excuse me, I put, uh, what I say? Verse 19, verse 9. By faith he lived as an alien in the land of promise, as a foreigner, as in a foreign land dwelling, in text with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs of the same promise. Oh, my God, don't, don't miss this one, people. He, he didn't say Esau. I want you to see something. Well, this, this Bible is complete, people. Amen. It doesn't, there's nothing insignificant that we should be missing. First of all, Jacob was a complete person. Yeah. He was a peaceable person. I told you today, I ain't got to grumble and complain. I just pick up the trash. Are you listening to me? Peaceable, civilized, gentle, in control of your mind. Are y'all ready for this? In control of your appetites. Yeah. Now look at this. Living in tents. Now watch this. Because he had a promise. The promise was given to him even before he was born. Now, this is what's scary. This is what makes me fear God. God got choices, people, that you can't change. Amen. I can't explain it. I just accept it. Because look what it said in verse 9. Hebrews chapter 11. By faith. Everybody circle that word, by faith. Can I say something to you? I'm not trying to be dogmatic. I'm not trying to be legalistic. It's not. But Paul said you are saved by faith. Amen. By grace through faith. Bless you should boast. Not of works. See your appetite will always lead you to do extra. Believe God. Y'all ain't with me yet. Your appetite 
made you spend all your money Amen. on worthless things. Not planning for the day, a rainy day, as the old people said. Yeah. And when your rainy day came, you sell your birthright. You're famished just like Esau. I don't get, I don't have a church today. Amen. I don't have a church today. Amen. But you didn't see 20 years later. Mm -hmm. You could have had the promise. Amen. Lord, he said, by faith, he lived as an alien. I told you, you don't have no friends. In the land of promise. When you got faith and you got the promise, you don't lose the promise. Amen? Amen. Dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs of the same promise. You know why? The promise means I'm not going to stay nowhere where the promise isn't. I'm going to keep moving toward the promise. Amen. He's my promised land. I'm not settling for what's in this earth when heaven is my home. Amen. I want you to see something else. Turn to with me to uh, Malachi. God just changed all my message today. Malachi chapter 1. You ready? You see, this is why it's so important you don't understand in my books. I know some of y'all, you never, you, you looked at it, but you didn't read it. You said it's too long because you don't think you have need of it. But you talk to people all the time that you could have been instructing in righteousness. In Malachi chapter 1, let me see if I can find it. He says, verse 2, I have loved you. I'm going to tell you something. There's very few times in the Bible when God says, I love you. Isaiah 43, that's what scripture says, I love you. I want to say, I have loved you, says the Lord. But you say, how have thou loved us? Let me share something with you. Mine, I got everything marking it. Lokona la basanda. Just because you got a bad a report, your enemy surrounds you. Yes. You got a brother that hates you. Yes. That's going to kill you. Some of you got a report and you think that you believe it says it's going to kill you. You never said that. Amen. Immediately. Your appetite, forget about something. The love of God. Yes. My Bible tells me things seen, nor not seen. Mm -hmm. Principalities, powers, rulers, and forces, and wickedness, and high place, nothing, life or death, yeah. nothing can separate me. But you make decisions based upon God not loving you. Amen. That you love yourself. And your situation cannot. Y'all ain't anybody here? Amen. I loved you. But you asked him, how do, how do you love me? And I got things going on. Everybody got something. Let me tell you something. Amen. As long as you stick me and look at it on the microscope, you're going to find something. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Jehoshaphat was surrounded by armies. Amen. He couldn't ignore the report. I'm glad for the information. But one thing about that information isn't changing the fact that God loves me. Amen. And I love God. Y'all right. gonna we gotta get ready for next week. Amen. You know what some people do? They ask that question, but how have thou loved? So you, you better get with me. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. Amen. Amen. You live.
live your life in church but not in heaven. Amen. Can't get a phrase out of you no more. Amen. You can't be going through the rituals of the law but not the grace of love. I'm going to love God more. We always got something to pray for. But I want you to see something. He says, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Declares the Lord, yet I have loved Jacob. Let me share something with you. I don't know you. Only God knows your heart. Yes. But some of y'all have put built this fabrication. God understands. Folks believe that they don't need all this. I wonder, let me share something with you. Who's your priest? Some of y'all, y'all go to church here, but you, you won't come and confer with your pastor for guidance. Amen. You just do something or talk about it later. But you're afraid. I'm sure glad y'all didn't name Isaiah that name you were going to name it. Y'all didn't come to me. You could have messed him up. But you listen afterwards. You see how we can get wisdom. Simple as something. It ain't simple. There's a direction, a course of life. But we don't ask did you know that they had to go to the priests for everything? Jesus told them, even after the man got the ten lepers, said, go show yourself to the priest and offer what you still have to go. Amen. We just do stuff. You know why? Because you made up your mind. I need them load of beans and stew. Lord, have mercy. Look at this. But I hated Esau, and I have made his mountains a desolation, and appointed his inheritance for the jackals of the wilderness. That is exactly what's in my book in chapter 4. If you don't choose the right name, you end up in an awkward situation. The word awkward means devilish, ego, bear, stormy. The same as Mount Seir. Mount Seir is Edom. The inheritance of Esau. And anyone that has a heart like Esau, better listen to me. If you want new heights in life, you better go after the promise. I'm going after the promise. Abraham dwelt in tents with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs of the promise. Some of y'all, you're anchored down. I see you now. You got your boots anchored down. I, I, my God, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to move. I'm going to stand where I stand. Yeah, you're going to end up in desolation. Amen. You know what the jackal symbolizes? Demon forces. Don't tell me you ain't got demons. Amen. Some of y'all bring the church. You have a hissy fit in a minute. Won't you come and get free? You're not going to see. Some people have left because of demons 
I see the javelin come into their heart. Close their ears, lest they hear. Close their eyes, lest they see and understand. Esau, new heights in life. Jacob was a child of the promise even before he was born. Amen. He swindled. Mm -hmm. Let's get back. Wow, where's the time? I told you you got three hours in me. Look what he said. Through, verse 4, through Edom says, though Edom says we have been beaten down, but we return and build up the ruins. Thus says the Lord of hosts. They may build, but I will what? Tear down. That's that heart that don't repent, people. You don't change. Seem like you're always putting out a fire. Seem like you can't get ahead. I'm trying to share something with you. Amen. Listen to me. Yes, you made mistakes. But now you can start new. Amen. Put your trust in God, the promise. And, they, and men will call them the wicked territory and the people towards whom the Lord is indignant forever. Turn to Romans chapter 9. You see, some of y'all don't realize when you start new, it didn't change the report. Amen. Oh, help me, Jesus. Somebody say help me. Help me. See, when I said I'm going to live by the word of faith, I already made that decision 40 years ago. Amen. So, things, the reports and things that happen now ain't changing my promise. Amen. Amen. I'm going to live by faith. Amen. I'm going to put my trust in God. Yes. The word of faith, the same faith that raised Jesus from the dead. Will quicken my mortal being. That's right. I ain't just believing God for saving my my soul, but for everything. Yeah. Look at Romans chapter nine. I'm not a theologian. I'm just a believer. Amen. And he says, verse 9, for this is a word of what? Promise. What you look at when you look in the mirror. Promise. I hope you see the promise. Mm -hmm. I hope that every time you look in the mirror, you see, I love you. Amen. I've called you by my name. I will be with you. People say things. Don't talk to me this way, people. Don't talk to me. You give me nightmares. I know what you're going to say. Well, you don't tell me. <laughs> if you know who are you, you can run, shower, jump, and take off and freak through the neighborhood. I don't care. Amen. I'm not looking anxiously about me. God gave me a promise. Amen. When it see you, it will reverse itself. Amen. Amen. You don't know how big that is. You don't know how big that is to release that in the earth. Amen. When everybody looking at you like, really? I got to put on two masks now. Really? You're gonna live by promise. You're gonna always have enemies. Amen. Jacob, he had a brother that gonna kill him. You 
got you think you got a report that's gonna do you in. So you but forget the promise. Jacob didn't forget the promise. Something you need to understand that they understood the promise. Amen. Isaac understood the promise. He saw Ishmael pack up. Don't you think that Ishmael was told that he was the promise? Mm -hmm. For all those years and he had to pack up. Amen. Look at this. In verse number nine. But this is the word of promise. I'm, I'm talking to you today. This ain't in a book. This is the word of promise. At this time, I will come and say, we'll have a son. There's a time, folks. We're going to see that next week. Are you willing to wait on it? Yes. I talk to young people and I say, give your tithes. I watch people who used to tithe starting giving less. I know they don't make that little bit. And I'm saying to you, I know because I gave all my life and everything. And now the return, I have no idea where it come from, but I'm glad it came. Because I knew it was coming. Amen. But listen to me today. You didn't make me rich. Amen. I have to pay the bills. Amen. I have to give. Amen. And always more. Still got things in my flesh that I gotta put down. Amen. This thing's strong, man. It's real strong. New heights in life. Amen. Anybody wanna reach high? Yes. Anybody can see the promise? Amen. Are you glad you came today? Yes. In spite of the cold? Yes, right. Because look what he said. And not only this, but there was Rebecca also, when she had conceived twins by one man, our father Isaac. For though the twins were not yet born, was not yet born. And I want to say something to you. No, come on, of, though you hadn't been born, the mirror still was the same. Amen. Amen. You can't change the mirror. Why are you shaking in your boots and word and never changed even before you were born and still qualified you? Amen. It said he loved you. Yes. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Yes. You are more than conquerors. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Don't ever tell me it's too hard to lose weight. Don't ever tell me that you can't get over your aches. Don't ever tell me you can't restore your soul. Yes. Amen. Your mind shall be full of peace. Amen. You don't ever lose your mind. Amen. You lost your mind when you lost your promise. Amen. My God, Esau lost his mind. Did he lose his mind? Yes. He said, that bone of beans, I'm perishing, I'm fair. He knew his brother would have gave him something. And his brother was a swindler too because he heard about the problem and he knew. Y'all you know, don't understand. He'll do anything to get it too. Amen. But he was already chosen from the beginning. Yes. Because his mother told him. Amen. His mother told his daddy, but his daddy... He didn't believe God. You want to see something? Yes. Your life will show you the promise. And I know that this is strange because, see, this is hard because folks get this. They think once you listen to me, people, I said most people, they don't walk with God after 
They claim to give their life to Christ. They walk like a wild beast. Anybody, anybody get a witness? Amen. Amen. Look at this. And, and, and before they done anything good or bad, in order that God's purpose according to his choice, this is Romans 9 verse 11, might stand not because of works, but because of him who called. This is not about works, people. This is about the God that calls. Amen. If God said, I'm healed, I'm healed. Amen. God promised me some things. Look what he said. It was said of her, the older would serve the younger. Because, see, you got to put your old nature down so the new person can live in you. Just as written, Jacob I love, but Esau I hate. It. Amen? Amen? What shall it be? There is no injustice with God, is there? May it never be. Turn back to Genesis. And I want you to go to 26. And verse number 34. I can't understand why God put this here. This was the year that, that Isaac sold in the time of famine. Let me tell you why he could do that. Y'all ready? He had a promise. I want you to know something. Your family came and you withdrew from the promise. I, why, why, why would tough times stop you from giving? Who don't have them? Are you listening to me today? Amen. And every time that Isaac would dig a well, the enemy would come to plug it up. He did the same thing to Abraham, his father. Amen. Because the enemy want to make you think that you are doing double, but yet every time Isaac continued to prosper. Amen. Where is your prosperity? Didn't you say you believe that God raised Jesus from the dead? You shall be saved. Amen. Or oh, you just got saved to go to heaven? Why did... That word salvation means prosperity. Peace, health, well being, restoration of your soul. I know this might hurt you. But your appetite took it. Amen. Whatever you do, there's people that eat up their check. Amen. There are people that gamble it up. Amen. There are people that buy things and hoard it up. Amen. There are people that's got to look nice and prideful. Amen. But over time, it matters. Don't mean it has nothing. It can't bring you no joy. No. Watch this. In verse thirty-four, Esau was forty. Can I say this? If Esau is 40, Jacob is 42. It's 40 also. Is that right? Yeah. He married Judith, the daughter of ben Beri the Hittite, and Basma, the daughter of Elon the Hittite. He married two Hittite women. Uh -huh. Let me share something with you. He came to God to repent. But he had a heart that was for this world. We command where it's time. Watch this. Verse 35. And they brought grief to Isaac and Rebekah. Everybody say, the household of God. The household of God. God just gave me that. Look around you. The household of God should be filled with everything. Is that right? Turn to Hebrews chapter 12. 
Hebrews chapter 12. Now you're going to understand it. I want you to understand that I, Jacob was 40 years old. The time of testing. Isaac was 40 when he got a wife. It was time for the, him to have the promise. And he starts his journey. And, 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 and Jacob and Isaac blessed him. So, and, so he will marry, not marry a woman in that land. Are you with it yet? Mm -hmm. In Hebrews chapter 12. Oh, let me find it, Lord. Hebrews chapter 12. I saw it. I didn't write it down. Verse 16. Yes, that is. That's it. Look at verse 14. Pursue peace with all men. That sounds like Jacob. Yes. And the sanctification without which there no one will see God. See to it that no one comes short of the what? Grace of God. That no root of bitterness springing up causes trouble and by it many be defiled. Amen. We've got to stay out of discord. But look that that there'll be no immoral. And some parts say fornication and sexual sins. All right, listen to me. Our godless person, that godless person, is all those other things, like Esau. Anything that your appetite has made you try to satisfy your flesh and prolong your days is the heart of Esau. Now look with this. Who sold his own birthright for a single meal. For you know that even afterwards, when he desired to inherit the blessing, everybody say the promise, he was rejected, for he found no place for repentance, though he sought it with tears. I want you to understand today. If you want new heights in life, you got to turn it around. You got to turn the around the way God says. You can't make up your own promise. You're going to have enemies that's going to fight you. But the promise is greater. I want you to know today that Jacob started the journey understanding that he needed God on his side. And we'll pick this up next week. Genesis 28.10 The next time we'll gather. New heights in life.